Who says bigger is better? Here's a group that believes when it comes to cars, the smaller the size, the bigger the prize. Hey, Ken? Yes. How are you? I'm just fine. How about you? Pretty good. Tell us where we are. You're here in uh, beautiful downtown Elgin, Illinois, and this is the National Microcar Meet, the 6th Annual. Uh, approximately, as best we can tell, about 465 different manufacturers built models of microcars. Right after World War II? Right after World War II, when uh, materials were real in short supply and people were tired of getting wet driving scooters. Well, this was designed originally by an Italian refrigerator maker, hence the door in the front. No, it's locked, because I keep it locked because if you slam the door, the windshield will pop out. Can we fit two people in? Yeah, we can fit three people if we have fresh deodorant done. Some very... of these cars, they make they make a VW Bug look like a monster truck. How much do these sell for these days? One was just sold in England at the auction for $33,000. This is the Darlene's car. She's uh, one of our premier members. How fast can you go? Downhill with a tailwind? Yeah. No, it'll go 55. But it only has one cylinder. When you got four wheels? Four wheels, it only has three brakes, so. So one wheel's running wild. No, the two wheels in the back are together and, and it has a common brake. What's the appeal of these things? Oddball, they're just bizarre. You, you consider yourself an oddball, sir? Yes, I think I do, especially having four of these. <laughs> you a little nervous about taking this out on, the, on a major highway? Yes, I don't take it out on a major highway. I don't want to stick to the sidewalk, huh? Right, uh, sidewalk, side streets. I don't want to end up as like a moth on somebody's... Uh, Windshield? <laughs> right. It's made by the uh, King Midget Company in Athens, Ohio. This was the final model. This is a 1966. This car and this interview makes me feel very tall. <laughs> yes. European countries generally don't have, you know, land barge cars like we had at that time. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's Us what... Americans are into bigger cars. That's right. That's yeah. the American way. Nothing wrong with that, is there, Larry? Hell no. How many circus clowns have you put in this car? Uh, none yet. None yet. We might have one in a moment. Here, stand in here. How do you fit? Is this you? Is this you? My knees are at my chin here. The little Subaru horn. Oh, it's really nice. Pathetic. It's a Messerschmitt. Yes, uh, it was a German production automobile back uh, this since the 55. I guess they started making them in 1953. I spent 27 years trying to purchase this one from a gentleman. and uh, What was, made him finally sell it? Well, he passed away, and I bought it at his, <laughs> uh, at his auction. So it's a little morbid. How many wheels? Uh, three wheels. The one in the back uh, drives the thing, the two front wheels for steering. So you're not going to pop any wheelies on this thing? No, but I've laid some rubber. Is this a micro or a mini? I just call it a motorcycle. Our insurance company calls this a hot rod. It's a little bubble car. This is Mini cars, micro cars, Mini, micro, bubble. bubble. I wish you guys would settle yeah. on a name. That's the aero car. I'm a pilot, so I decided to make a car that looked like it could try to fly. But Have you ever gotten this thing airborne? Well, we run it down a runway, and uh, we just didn't quite have enough uh, wing area, I guess, to get it off the ground. This is a 1958 uh, convertible. It's convertible, all right. They took the whole thing off the wheel. Oh, it's right off. You know, what can I tell you? It's a 1935 Brooklyn's, Austin Brooklyn special race car. Every piece of the car was done by hand. So this car was done. Don't touch it because oh, you'll sorry. take sorry. You definitely have the contest won. You have the smallest car. Yeah, it's got an electric motor in it. It uh, was made in South Wales in 1940. I defy you to get inside that and drive it, though. Come on, you can't fit somebody in there. When we got that, my brother and I rode in that together. That's At the awesome. age of two, you're going to drive this thing away from the contest? No, we're just going to tour around. There, it's oh, a, it's, it's a parade. A parade. Yeah. yeah, it'll be a parade. So the idea is we drive into Elgin and terrorize the, the town folk? Yeah. Ken, if somebody wants to find out more about the Microcar Mini Car Club, what should they do? They have an information line, 630 Microcar. Follow that Microcar!